Right on, y'all, and welcome back. In this video, I want to go ahead and show you how to get Superior 2 up and running in Reaper. And I got to tell you, this is a very easy one to do, okay? Here you have an empty project within Reaper, and all I'm going to do is right-click right here on the left side, and we're going to get this little box that's going to give us a few different options. And what we want to do is insert virtual instrument onto a new track. And then we're going to see the insert virtual instrument on new track window pop up. Now there are a couple of versions of Superior that we can choose from. We got the audio unit version and then we have the VST version right here. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and grab and I'm going to hit OK. And then the build routing confirmation window will pop up and ask us if we want to add the following tracks for this effect. If not, only the stereo one, two outputs will be audible without further routing. And it gives you a list of everything. Well, I want to go ahead and press yes. Okay. And so now what we got is the user interface will pop up and it's pretty much ready to start rocking. You go ahead and choose your kit that you want to load up. It will do its thing. As you hear, you have a stereo output going on right there, okay? See? No problem. But what about those of you who want to go ahead and utilize the multi-output option? Okay, well, it's very easy. Let's go ahead and get back into our user interface here. And I want to go into the mixer by pressing the button right there. And next, if you look down here, you're going to see the output column. All you have to do is click on it and then choose multi-channel. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and send these kit pieces out to any output okay or bus for that matter but for this example i'm just going to go ahead and choose multi-channel and as you can see superior takes care of routing everything for me kick drums out one two snare top is at three four snare bottom is five six along with the uh snare comp the rim is also five six hat seven eight toms are on nine ten so forth and so on now I want to go ahead and show you just what I'm talking about, that they are all, in fact, working and running. See? There you go. You can see them all. And they sound really good, I might add. Now all that's left is for us to go ahead and name each channel so that you don't forget what's what. Double click right there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put kick drum. And then we're going to put snare top and double click there. Put snare bottom. Hi hats. Toms. Overheads. And let me scroll down a little bit. Double click. And then we have our ambient mics right there as well. Okay, and you know, you can go ahead and name everything else if you like, if you're utilizing it. If not, whatever floats your boat. Okay, but I told you that was an easy process, wasn't it? Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this, and I hope it helped you out. Y'all stick around, and I'll see you in the next video.